Okay, so this is part of the Great British Chef's Cooking with Kids Christmas campaign. I am Andrew McKenzie, and this is my recipe for spiced fruit loaf. We're going to plait them to a wreath, so it's part of a table decoration. Um, it's really nice, served with cheese. Today we're making it with rye flour, strong T55, mixture of spices, raisins, and salt tartars. First section is we've got T55, strong bread flour, and then we have T170, which is a rye flour. Add the two together. Do you want to add this? And we're going to add some spice mix, which is a spice which is ginger, <laughs> nutmeg, and clove. Let's add it into there, Hattie. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So, what we're going to do is bring this together. You can, all three of you can pour it in. And all we're going to do is slowly bring it together and you're going to form the dough. Yes, we are making bread. So we brought that together now. So all the flour and all the ingredients have come together. You're just going to keep working this. Do you want to go? Yeah. So imagine if you're pushing it away and pull it back. I want to go. That hand, there you go. And pull it back. So we're basically working the proteins in the bread. So we're going to form gluten, which is uh, the thing that gives bread its texture, it gives it strength. Once we've done this, we're going to bring it together. So we'll bring it together into a ball. Now I'll pop it into a bowl, put a damp tea towel over the top, or some cling film. We're going to leave this in the bowl for about an hour. So this is the same process we've just done. But this is being about an hour, proven. as you can see, it's, it's doubled in size roughly. So this, we're going to put on there. And as you can see, it goes quite tacky as well. What we're going to do is add some Raisins and some sultanas. You can add any fruit you want. We use sultanas and raisins because we like to. You can use cranberries at Christmas that are really nice to put through it. Cherries are really nice. You like more, more sort of desserty sweet stuff. Anything you want. So that again, we're just going to work yeah, this. What about that one? You eat that one. So we're going to knead it again. Not much. It's not going to have to work it. It's not what you're doing. But this yeah, bread is a bit different to some breads because we're going to triple yeah. prove this bread. So pop that back in the bowl. It's going to double in size again. So this one's been sitting for about another half an hour. It's just the exact same bread. But all we've done is add the raisins and prove it for the second prove. Now you're going to split it down. So you want to make, we're going to make a, a wreath. So we're basically going to plait it. So we want a little bit, cut it into three equal pieces. I mean, you can weigh it and get it exactly, or what we're going to do is going to shape it. Yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to make snakes. So what you got going to do is roll the big snakes out of those pieces, you start in the middle and roll and bring your hands out to the ends. Three long and three small. Yay, I love that. And then we're going to plait it. Right. And then the outside in. Just pinch the end together. And the outside in. And to make the wreath, really simple. Just going to bring it round. I'm going to take these three. Can I have that one as well, please? And we're going to make another little plait. So you're going to pinch them there. And the same as mine, what we're going to do with this one, the ends, is lay it on the join and tuck it under. And then we're going to put it on the tray. The good thing about bread, it's fairly robust, you can pretty much do what you like with it. We want to prove this again, it's going to be our third proof. With this one, it's best to get a damp cloth. Just pop it over the top and you'll prove it this time for about half an hour until when you press it, it springs back evenly. This half about 15, 20 minutes, all you're looking for is when you push it, it springs back. Yeah. It's gonna glaze this a little bit, so all we've got here is, this is egg and milk, it's just a glaze. So the oven's 250, you want a really high oven to start with, that's gonna give you initial crust. That's gonna go in the oven for, we're gonna start 10 minutes at 250, then drop the temperature down to about 180, and another 10 minutes. Okay, so we've taken it out, as you can see, nice and golden brown, just turn it over. sounds hollow, which basically means it's cooked. So should we cut it and do you want to try it? Yeah. So this was our spice festive loaf for Great British Chefs Cooking With Kids Christmas campaign in association with Tesco's. Hi, Good.